So we finally have some new information on Crackdown 3 single player experience. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, this morning IGN did an IGN first on the single player experience for Crackdown 3. And that's what this video is about, going to go over you know, all the information that was shown there, and just in case if anyone missed it. Uh, first thing they did is they actually have you know different agents that level up uniquely to what they specialize in. Some people level up with their shooting and uh, the explosions better, some people level up agility. Uh, so it really determines on what specialized agent you pick from the beginning of the match, uh, the game. Uh, and then, you know, another thing they did is they actually, in Crackdown 3, your agent saves are separate from the world saves. So you could take one agent into multiple worlds. And for those of you that don't know what that really means, it means that you can keep the same agent from multiple playthroughs. And that's something unique that you don't really see in a whole lot of games. And I wanted to give them props for that because that isn't something you see in a lot. I, I know they do that in art, but that's, that's a giant multiplayer experience. I don't really know a whole lot of other games where you could take a single player character into multiple saves of the same game. So you can take it into the second playthrough in a different world. You don't have to be limited to that first playthrough that you do. Uh, the city is called Terra Nova, so I thought that was pretty good. You know, they gave it good information when it comes to what the city's called. It looked pretty semi-big. I think I would like to have been a little bit bigger. Uh, my personal experience, I don't know exactly how big it is because they didn't really show a whole lot in terms of that. Uh, it's actually got three different sectors when it comes to enemies. Now, it didn't look like there was a fourth one. It looked like someone ruled over Terran over itself in general. Someone named Elizabeth. I don't know. I'm not going to put any kind of information on the screen because it is IGN. And I don't really know if I can show even screenshots from their website because it's not on YouTube or anything like that. In Crackdown, uh, you know, it's logistic, industry, and security. And they're all led by crime lords. So once you do enough damage to that crime uh, Lord section he will come out and he will actually fight you and then once you take him out uh, you go from there the game looked pretty uh, you know pretty look pretty fluid and it looked like a crackdown game it look you know it looks like that they revolved this game around having fun I don't know about the narrative we don't really know anything if there's any kind of narrative behind the crime bosses why you're doing what you're doing you are an agent that does this stuff for a living so maybe they'll go that direction but I don't really know what they're gonna do when it comes to uh, the crime lord in general uh, if there is a particular reason why you or you yourself is attacking these people uh, in all sense I think the game looked good I think crackdown 3 has a lot more light to it I think it it was definitely in a bad place before this especially you know because of events like comic Con, a lot of people didn't expect anything from this game uh, it got a decent you know showing with the multiplayer i think they need to show a little bit more on that i enjoyed what i saw in the multiplayer I do feel like they need some kind of private matches for that uh that lock on snap on aim that was in uh their xo event but besides that besides you know everything we've seen on crackdown i think it could easily get like you know anywhere from a 7-3 to a 7-7 at this point I'd be very surprised if this game got in the sixes. I'd be very surprised. But, you know, at the end of the day, maybe who all the reviewers won't like this game. You know, then we only saw a little skip it from both, you know, multiplayer and single player. So we'll have to see exactly what we see when we see get the whole product in hands. And that's not happening till February the 15th. So there you guys go. Uh, that's pretty much everything they showed on that Crackdown uh, trailer. Uh, they will be showing more at the coming fronts. I hope it's an inside Xbox. But usually how it goes, when IGN does an IGN first, they generally do the rest. But we'll see exactly how that goes. Maybe they'll go in more detail on inside Xbox. But anyway, you know, tell me what you guys thought of that trailer. Uh, is there anything particular that you enjoyed out of it? I'm kind of curious myself. Uh, I want to hear what you guys' perspective on it. Did you enjoy anything you saw? If you haven't, I'll go ahead and link the uh, uh, the article in the description as well so you could see that. Uh, but this is Gaming Addict. Uh, I'm out of here. Peace.